you. Why did I marry him? Uh-huh. All right, see y'all later. Yo, we're back with another episode of Belief in Fatherhood. My wife has killed it with this idea of the podcast. And I'm really proud of her for just, um, you know, coming up with the idea for us to do it. We've done four episodes so far. This is gonna be another episode where I show B-roll and we talk underneath and you get to know us a little bit as a couple uh, while watching some adorable footage, never before seen footage of Anaya's dedication. So enjoy that. But just so you guys know, Yvette has decided to come on board and be more a part of Belief in Fatherhood and this is the way she wants to do it. She wants to be an Instagram influencer, so make sure you go ahead and follow her on Instagram and she wants to do the podcast and kind of spearhead that. So if you want to watch the podcast full version, follow Yvette on Instagram and please check out her IGTV. And if you guys want to be a part of our extended family, which gives you access to the secret group, all the music and songs you hear on the vlog, first dibs on merch, and the first to hear all types of news, sign up for Patreon. You can give as much or as little as you want and uh, enjoy this episode. I was thinking about like this whole idea of are you mar ready for marriage? And I was thinking like, is there really any way that you could really be ready for marriage? Like you really don't know what you're getting into. Well, you do, you should, I don't know. I just felt like I was just kind of thinking about back on Glenn and I's relationship when we first got married. And I often think, not often, but based on these recent like thinking backs, I was kind of like, why did I marry him? Like, yeah. why did I marry him? No offense to him. He's a great man. He's awesome. But it's kind of like... Oh, you about to do the numbers? <laughs> what are you going to say? Oh, I was prepared mentally, I think, and spiritually. Um, I wasn't prepared financially, career-wise. Mm -hmm. um, what did I bring to the table? What did I, like, what did I bring? <laughs> so sad. You brought Jesus. I knew that you were going to lead us um, in a godly fashion. Let's move on. I want to talk a little bit about what you brought to the table. <laughs> I brought our income to the table. <laughs> I took care of us. Yeah. Good. yeah, you brought everything. You brought... You brought a tribe. Yeah. We didn't have any people. Mm -hmm. Your people were our people, 100%. I'm gonna cry because I love my people. Yeah, your people, you got good people. What I saw in you and with your community it showed was like, I was like, man, like I wanna be a part of something like that, you know, for myself. Um, and it was weird to me how Christ-like the community was, like how um, bearing each other's burdens, mourning with each other, like celebrating with each other. It just was like somebody needs something and everybody was on deck. It was insane. I introduce to you Miss Anaya, Miss Anaya Zai Henry. <laughs> Not only are you guys a handpicked, but you guys um, were all, you know, with us during the wedding and you know all that stuff you know what i'm saying so the transitions in our lives are really important mm -hmm. every time we have a child or go through one of the transitions it's, it's important to have your prayers not only for our children but just for us as um, a husband and wife you know what i'm saying and so if you guys could just continue to pray for us because i, I believe that the lord is doing a lot through our family you know what i'm saying and um i don't know i just i just would really appreciate the prayers that is really hard for me. Like even now, I like admire that, but I still fight against it sometimes because I like my space. And so I like really admire that thing about your community. And I feel like I have to be more intentional about like letting people know I love them in our community, mm -hmm. even in, in your in your community. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's just no. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's important for him for someone who's going to lead our household for him to always be conscientious of our vision and moving in that direction is very important and it's very to me admirable because um 
I just want to be able to, I don't know, I just want to be able to trust his lead and I trust him. I trust that he's allowing the Lord to lead him and therefore I have no problem following suit. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like as the, the husband, um, I'm not only leading you as like you submit to me, I feel like I'm leading our children, their children, the children after them, our community, like, like pillar, like that's what I feel like. I'm leading our community, right? So, um, as as a community of men, we're all moving toward this direction. As a community of families, we're all moving toward this one direction, right? Give all glory to God, spread the gospel. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, be the light of the world. All of that. You know what I mean? Um, so I feel like in that mode, it's like okay. What are the things that we want to accomplish as a family? What are the type of things we want to do? What type of things do we dream about? What type of things, what type of people are we? As, like you took my last name, as the Henry family, what type of people are, people are we? As a husband, I now get to like dictate what that looks like. I now get to say, okay, this is the sculpture. This is, these are the people we are as, as these type of men, these type of women. We don't do this, we do this. You know, we are problem solvers. When I'm thinking about this, it's like as a leader, like I'm just, I'm looking like ahead. And I'm allowing like, I'm allowing you to like, tell me like, hey, what do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Like, I'm always including you in everything. That doesn't mean you don't get a say. And really. to be honest with you, like, I feel heard. Um, like, just because I'm submissive doesn't mean that I'm like this wimp with no voice type person. Like, I do believe that we are a team and I do believe that we, discuss things and you bounce ideas off of me and you don't just tell me this is how it's going to be you kind of you know me you know our family and so you know what I mean like I don't feel like submission is necessarily me just you know whimsically following suit to whatever you have going on that is like for, for men who don't have anything to offer, I don't think that's like a good way to start. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, I don't think that I, like I'd love, I would have loved to have more to offer you. I was gonna, I was gonna say like, if Anaya brought you home. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like, boy, what you doing with your life, bruh? What's the plan? What's going on with you? Do you need a job? Because I can hire you. Is there no getting rid of you? <laughs> Are you really here to stay? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we need to figure this all out. Man. We need to take care of my daughter. Whoa. That's so funny. Yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know. Because if Anaya brought you home to me. Mm. If Anaya brought me, me home to me, I'd be like, ooh. You remind <laughs> Can me of we myself. Can find someone else? <laughs> <laughs> Which stage are you and me? <laughs> yeah. stage? I want to thank you so much for watching Belief in Fatherhood and being part of our community. This means so much to us that you would even enjoy content like this, but we get to go in a little deeper on some things that we care about. You know, I feel like we're getting to know each other better. Right now, what I need you to do is a personal favor to me and my wife. Please go to Apple Podcasts and subscribe to our podcast. If you've already listened to a leave a review, it would mean the world to us. We love seeing what you guys think. Okay, and if you're on Anchor or Google Podcasts, we're there as well. Please follow us, favorite us, and all that. And make sure you follow my wife on IG so you can actually watch the episodes of the podcast right on her IGTV. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Protect your life. Keep your network popping.